We continue to follow breaking news out of Baltimore this morning where the city is still on edge after rioters burned buildings, looted and attacked police all throughout the night. Ryan Noble is live uh, for us in Baltimore with the very latest on the developments. And Ryan, what's the feeling like there this morning? Yeah, you know, uh, where we are this morning, we're at Baltimore City Hall. Things are much calmer than they were, maybe even 12 hours. But it doesn't, uh, you don't have to go too very far in this city to see a completely different scene. You know, downtown Baltimore doesn't look much different than it would at any other time of the year. But if you head into West Baltimore and different pockets of the city, it literally looks like a war zone. There is a feeling, though, as people wake up this morning here in Baltimore that the city is ready to turn the page. Uh, we've seen examples of people actually coming out into the streets not to cause more problems, but to actually begin the cleanup process. They're coming out with brooms and dustpans trying to take their communities back. We should see a much increased uh, police presence today. There are 5,000 law enforcement officials from different parts of the Mid-Atlantic that are descending on Baltimore today. The National Guard's been called up as well. There'll be 1,500 National Guard troops here patrolling the streets. Uh, and you know, city leaders, uh, community leaders, uh, leaders from the African-American community are being very vocal about the idea that now is the time for peace. Those conversations will continue today. Uh, we won't know for sure, though, until the sun is up and people are out and about before we know whether or not this city is absolutely ready to turn the page and for the healing process to begin and the conversations about real change here in this city can begin. But that's the scene right now here uh, live from Baltimore.